Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Jikoni Yangu where we do simple and amazing recipes at the comfort of your home. If you love what you're seeing, um, please like the video, make sure you subscribe. Let's get into the video and let me show you how we make this amazing pilau. We are going to begin with a large chunk. So we have one large onion, one tablespoon of our capsicum, and then we have one table, one and a half tablespoon of salt, and then we have one tablespoon of curry powder, we have one full garlic, and then we have one full ginger, and then here we have we paste. These are two and a half tablespoons of tomato paste. And remember, for pilau, we are also going to need our so. Here's the beef. We are going to use half a kg of beef, and then we are also going to use two cups of rice to cook this amazing pilau. I'm giving the measurements. It is the measurement in order to follow the, my pilau recipe. First and foremost, we are going to begin by boiling our beef like so, and ensuring that our beef, our water, has finished so that we can continue with the next step. Another tip while cooking your pilau, ensure that when you go to the butchery, please ensure that the person who is there, you instruct the person to give you good part of the meat that does not have too much fat because you need fatless meat like this. And then I tend to believe that my pilau tastes so nicely when I cut my pieces of meat into small, small chunks like so. So that's another hack on how to cook an amazing amazing pilau guys now that all the water has finished inside our beef while it was boiling we are going to add in just little oil and then we are going to cook it a little bit and then we are going to let it brown up a little bit let it turn almost black dark brown so that you can be able to do that and on the ingredients part guys i forgot to show you that you'll also need one tablespoon of your pilau masala this is the part whereby you go in with your sauce you're just going to add one tablespoon of salt inside your beef. That's one tablespoon of salt. And then give it a little bit, a little, a little mix. As you wait for your beef to turn dark brown. Make sure to be patient with your beef. Give it a good time so that it can be able to turn dark brown because yeah, the dark meat inside the pilau makes it even much more tastier and yummier. So since our meat has not yet turned dark brown, but it's almost turning into that. It's a bit, a little bit browned, as you can see. It's a little bit browned, as you can see. Let me just turn and show you guys. It's a little bit brown, so we are just going to go in with our onion. And then this is the point whereby you also go in with your cumin seeds. Remember we've used one large onion, and then you just need one tablespoon of your cumin seeds because you know you know cumin seeds usually add extra flavor that unique extra swahili flavor to your pilau and that is why i've added in my cumin seeds because i love my cumin inside my pilau and then you're going to give it a little bit of a, of a mix you're going to mix it up a little bit and then you're going to go in now with your one tablespoon full tablespoon of your pilau masala inside your beef as we wait for our beef to turn dark brown 
and also you're going to go in with one tablespoon of your curry powder curry powder also adds that extra flavor to your pilau curry powder is optional you can either add your curry powder or not add it but i love love curry powder inside my pilau and that's why i'm adding it inside my pilau so at this point we are going to give it a mix as usual oh guys the mixture of the flavor inside the beef fried egg good good aroma and it's really smelling amazing i kid you not you cannot wait for this pilau to be ready so we are going to let it cook let the onions cook also and then yeah we are going to add in our garlic and our ginger later on and now this is the part where you add in your ginger all together with your garlic and the spice part is done and then you're going to give it a mix as usual and let everything cook inside yeah we are going to let all our ingredients turn golden brown especially your make sure your garlic turns golden brown so that it cannot give your pilau the sour taste so ensure that so we are just going to let it cook for some time and then come back later and there is when we are going to go in with our tomato paste so in the meantime let's just enjoy cooking and at this point if you love the video please hit the like button it really supports this channel subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel here we are about making amazing amazing and simple recipes at home and this is just one of our delicacies here so we are going to cover it for some time so that it will be able to cook ideally this is the color that we want our beef to have as you can see yes let it concentrate so this is the color that we want our beef to have and as you can see right now our our ingredients are turning golden brown as you can see inside this puria our beef has turned golden brown dark brown and yeah it's time for our tomato paste to go in you can see our garlic and ginger have already turned their colors all together with the onions some are still translucent but it's okay so the next thing we're going to do we are going to add two and a half tablespoons of our tomato paste that's one that's two and then you'll see your tomato paste tomato paste is going to give pilau this amazing color At this point you are going to reduce the heat and we are going to you know mix all that in at this point i'm loving the aroma guys i can't believe i had craved for pilau for the longest time and i thought of doing a pilau recipe yeah and show you guys my updated pilau recipe that I normally use nowadays. Actually, this is how I normally cook my pilau. It's just that I I have added in curry powder. So you're just going to let in the tomato paste to soak in all together with the flavor. Let it cook together. And then we are going to add in water. Remember we said that we are going to use two cups of rice. Since we are going to use two cups of rice, that means that we are going to put in five cups of water the cup that you've used to measure your rice with is the same cup that you're going to use to measure your water with and preferably for a plow i usually prefer if you use a, a a good brand of rice that is going to make your rice come out one by one like mchele toke to moja moja vizuri and i normally use sun rice and that's that's the brand that i normally use for my pilau so that my pilau turns out well it's mchele kamoja kamoja inafanya pilau in a, in a quarter in Guinea too, you know, yeah. So yeah, or pre, or if you know any other brand that usually does well for your pilau, you can still use it. It's allowed. So we are going to go in with the water, as we've said. So just five cups of water, since we are going to use two cups of rice. I was talking about the brands of of, of rice. 
can also use your pishori rice as long as your rice will is a good brand then you're good to go with your pilau and now we are going to let our water boil after some time and then we go in with our two cups of, of rice and then lower the heat and then boom wait for our pilau to cook now that our water is boiling we are going to add in our two cups of rice and remember guys the cup the same type of cup that you used to measure your water with is the same type of cup that you're going to use to measure your rice with don't miss on that otherwise you're going to miss a step on how to make your on how to make your rice come out well so those are two cups and then we're just going to mix it inside there a little bit and then we're just going to cover and let it cook on the lowest heat so we're going to cover it like so and then let it cook on the lowest heat possible the lowest lowest heat when i say low heat i mean low heat so just cover it and we will be back later to serve our ready pilau we are back again and i have turned on off my heat and yeah our pilau is ready guys it's smelling amazing i love love it and as you can see our rice came out so well and now we are going to let it just sit in for like 10 to 15 minutes so that it can gather all the flavors eh unifunikia kidogo for 5 to 10 minutes ishike hiyo harufu nzuri ikuna utamu yote so that's just it for the pilau recipe if you've loved the video comment down below on how you cook your pilau at home Give this video a thumbs up because it really really supports this channel and also comment down below make sure you've subscribed if you haven't yet subscribed and yeah till the next video and bye